Mary Oliver, Wild Geese. You do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert, repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Tell me about despair, yours, and I will tell you mine. Meanwhile, the world goes on. Meanwhile, the sun and the clear pebbles of the rain are moving across the landscapes, over the prairies and the deep trees, the mountains and the rivers. Meanwhile, the wild geese in the clear blue air are heading home again. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination, calls to you like the wild geese, harsh and exciting, over and over, announcing your place in the family of things. Mary Oliver, the sun. Have you ever seen anything in your life more wonderful than the way the sun, every evening, relaxed and easy, floats towards the horizon, into the clouds or the hills or the rumpled sea and is gone? And how it slides again out of the blackness every morning on the other side of the wall, like a red flower streaming upward on its heavenly oils. Say, on a morning in early summer, at its perfect imperial distance, have you ever felt for anything such wild love? Do you think there is anywhere in any language a word billowing enough for the pleasure that fills you as the sun reaches out, as it warms you, as you stand there empty-handed, or have you too turned from this world? Or have you gone crazy for power or things? Mary Oliver, 5 a.m. in the pine woods. I'd seen their hoof prints in the deep needles and knew they ended a long night under the pines, walking like two mute and beautiful women towards the deeper woods. So I got up in the dark and went there. They came slowly down the hill and looked at me sitting under the blue trees. Shyly they stepped closer and stared from under their thick lashes, and even nibbled some damp tassels of weeds. This is not a poem about a dream, though it could be. This is a poem about the world that is ours, or could be, finally. One of them, I swear it, would have come to my arms. But the other, stamped sharp hoof in the pine needles, like the tap of sanity and they went off to gather through the trees. When I woke, I was alone. I was thinking, so this is how you swim inward. So this is how you flow outward. So this is how you pray. This is how you pray.